Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? Today's video is going to be one of the many videos I will keep making for Jingliu as much as I can because that's my favorite character and uh, I'm very excited for her. But I'm making this video to tell you if you should summon for her banner, uh, if you should care about getting her in your uh, account, all of that. I'm going to try to be uh, getting all perspectives of different accounts, uh, different builds, different... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get into the video. So basically, she's a DPS. So we have many DPS DPSs in the game that dropped, like Sile, Jing Yuan. Granted, Jing Yuan is not the best. Uh, I can count Blade as also as a DPS or like a sub DPS. And we have Kafka and uh, Dan Hang. So if you have any of these broken DPSs. At least two you might want to skip if you really don't care for the character or you don't like her design or anything like that you're not asked to go summon for her but if you only have one dps you might you might want to think about pulling for her i'm not comparing her to topaz this is not a comparison to topaz i'm probably gonna make another video about that but this is only talking about the jingle and her banner if you want to consider someone if you're lacking in DPS, because from our knowledge, the next characters that will be dropping might not be the best DPSs, might be sub DPS. Who knows? We will see. But it seems like if you really need a DPS right now for like your second team or something, you might want to consider her. If you have Blade, and this is this is <laughs> this is uh, a special case. If you have Blade, I think she's a must summon. If you're uh, uh, Blade main, you really need Jing Liu on your team. I won't say the Light Cone is a must, but she's gonna be really good with Blade. Um, she's gonna make him more... Um, she's gonna trigger her sta his attack uh, way faster. And uh, she will take HP from him. So... It, it, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You're gonna have ice, and you're gonna have wind. Especially also that she is ice, and we don't have that many good ice characters. Yes, there is Yang Sheng. He's trash. And there is Herta, and she's also trash. So if you're considering an ice character, she's the one for you. Um I'm not considering I'm not considering uh Japard, because Japard is just <laughs> he's a tank. He's not your damage dealer. So um yeah. And last but not least, March 7th also the same, yeah. And uh, last but not least is her banner, which is the main the main uh, attractive point about pulling for her. She has Ting Young, the best 4-star support. Actually, probably maybe better than 5-stars. Ting Young, okay? And QQ, which... People now say she's better than Sile in terms of quantum. So if you missing any of those, especially QQ, she needs dupes. So if you want to invest in that banner, you might want to pull. And of course, there's Sampu, but uh, I, don't, I don't care for Sampu really. But if you are a Nihility main, you want to go for Sampu as well. So yeah, uh, these are my points. Look at if they mean anything to your account to what you want to build on your account then yeah some if you feel like she doesn't add any value to your account then skip but she's waifu and um yeah she's almost someone for me but yeah that's it gonna be for my video thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay safe and bye